Chef Buck here and today we're going to take this rutabaga and make a very easy simple vegetable soup. Mm -hmm. You could use a potato for this but I'm not using a potato I'm using rutabaga because you can use a rutabaga just like you can use a potato. This is like three potatoes. Look how big this is. It's like that's like twice as big as my brain. Maybe three times. Don't be afraid about how big this is. Don't be scared of the rutabaga. Look at that. No arms, no teeth. Completely helpless. Why? Why? Yeah, because that's what happened to me in school. First thing we're going to do is we're going to cut off the ends of our rutabaga. Because it's kind of ugly. See how ugly that is? So we'll cut off the little knobby end there. We'll cut off the other knobby little end. And when you're buying a rutabaga, you want to make sure there aren't any big blemishes, nothing unsightly, untoward with your rutabaga. You want to make sure it's nice and heavy for its size because that means it has a lot of moisture in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut this into a manageable size, you know, so that it, then I can cube it up. Now let me go ahead and take the skin off because we don't want to use the skin because sometimes there'll be a waxy coating to help preserve the moisture to keep it from drying out. And I found the easiest way to peel it is just to take a knife and go around the edges and just slice it off. So I've got all the skin off my rutabaga. So now I'm just going to cut it up into some soupy sized chunks. I want to have some nice hearty big pieces of rutabaga in here. So we got it all chopped up and you can cut them smaller than this if you like but it's going to cook for a while and it's really going to soften up and i don't want it to fall completely apart because i want it to be a very rustic soup chunky monkey soup so i want some nice big pieces we're going to heat up some oil in a pot now this is going to be like a vegetable soup but uh we're going to call it a rutabaga soup because it's going to be defined by the rutabaga you know, I could put less rutabaga in here and just make it a vegetable soup. I could not put any of this other stuff. I could just put some onion and rutabaga in here and almost like make it like a potato leek. But it's going to be a kind of a grab bag and you can clean out your fridge and use whatever you like. But I got my oil heated up and the first thing I'm going to throw in here are some seeds. Because seeds add a lot of flavor, you know. So if, you, if you're not used to cooking with seeds, give them a go. I got some fennel seeds and a little cumin seeds in here. And your seeds should start cooking straight away. We're just going to give these here a moment by themselves. Then I'm going to add in some garlic. I got a lot of garlic here. But we're going to add a lot of flavor to this dish. Because it's soup, you know, you want your soup to have a lot of flavor. And I got a lot of jalapeno here. I'm not going to put any uh, dried hot peppers in here, so I'll just have some fresh pepper. And that's probably too much. I'm probably going to get in trouble for that. Lots of onion. So we're going to go ahead and give our onions and peppers a few minutes here. Let them saute them. I'll stir them up occasionally, but we'll, we'll cook them for about five minutes. Alrighty, so we've had our onions sauteing up here for a few minutes, and they're starting to soften up. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a lot of seasoning in here, a lot of flavor. Now you can put whatever seasoning you like in here, but I've got a, a potpourri of flavors, and I'm using a whole bunch of them. I'm going to go ahead and throw in some carrot. Boom. And you can vary the amount of ingredients you put in here. You know, the ratio, whatever you like. A little bit of celery. I got this pot already filled up almost a third of the way full. But now I'm going to go ahead and add my rutabaga in here. And this is an awful lot. So that's why we're calling it rutabaga soup. Look at all that. Now if I had, had to describe this uh, soup in one word, I would call it rutabaga. Alright, so I'm going to fill up my pot with a bunch of water. And I'm going to cover it up and bring it up to a boil. Alrighty, so our pot has come up to a boil. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, give it a little bit of a stir here. I'm going to reduce the temperature down to low. And I'm just going to let it simmer away. Already smells delicious. Yeah. We'll cover it up. Leave it alone. That's it. We got other things to do. Soup. When you got other things to do. <laughs> Alrighty, so it's only been simmering for about 45 minutes, so not that long at all. And as you can see, it's a very light simmer. And I didn't even add any water to it. It hasn't even cooked off a lot of water. And you don't want your rutabaga to fall apart, or at least I don't, which is why I like these nice big chunks. Uh, but as you can see how easily the fork passes through this piece right here. But it's not mushy at all, and I don't want to cook it until it gets mushy. But the fork goes through there quite easily. Boom, that's it. Turned off the heat, and I'm just gonna cover it up. You know, let it cool off. That's all there is to it. We're going to eat this tomorrow or maybe the next day. 
But as soon as it cools down, I'll jar it up, boom, throw it in the fridge, and it'll be ready whenever we want it. Uh, I just added water, water and seasoning. It's going to make its own broth. It'll be the broth. It'll be the broth. There you have it. A nice, rustic, delicioso rutabaga soup. Got a little leftover egg bread and salad. Go ahead and give the soup a try, camera girl. Yeah, we well, use your mouth. Yeah, for sure. Is that going to do the trick? A little mm -hmm. soup and salad on a nice, sunny, wintry day. Anything you can do with a potato, you can do with a rutabaga. And if you want to print this rutabaga recipe, got a link down below. You can go over to myfoodchannel.com, find all our recipe videos over there. Subscribe, get on our mailing list, and never miss uh, one of our recipe videos. We appreciate you watching, and we'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.